Since 60% of the human body is made up of water, it shouldn't shock you to hear that not drinking water can, spoiler alert, kill you. Before we dive into the actual scenario, let us explain exactly why we need water. And what does it mean that the human body is 60% water? The human body is made up of millions of tiny little factories called cells. And in these cells, everything, literally everything that makes you who you are, happen. And the water inside is where all these processes happen. For example, a process that gives you energy so you can lift your remote to skip the intro on Netflix. And another bunch of unimportant stuff like making sure your heart keeps beating. Water also makes up your blood, tears, saliva, and, well, <clears throat> snot. It regulates your body temperature, too, so you don't overheat while playing football and die. So to say that it's very important would be a huge understatement. Imagine this. You wake up in the morning and go to the kitchen to get a glass of water. And that is when you discover there is no water in the fridge. You open the tap. Only air comes out. You take your car, drive to McDonald's for some free water. And there's zero water there. At this point, you'll be willing to pay a lot on water. So you go to wherever you get Fiji from. And you discover, oops, oh, there's no water anywhere. Realistically, at this point, there would be mass hysteria. People would take to the streets. The rich would drink the servant's blood to survive. Well, they already do that. Uh, but what's important to us is you. So let us tell you what would happen to you in this case. Of course, the exact effect can only be judged by knowing the age, body mass, activity level, and gender. Also, if you have diabetes, uh, you will die quicker because diabetes patients are bad at retaining water. And if you are anything like us, eating bread all the time, not knowing what a vegetable is, again, um, you'll die quicker. Although these factors will pale in comparison to two things, if where you live is hot and if you have diarrhea. This is because in both cases, you will lose huge amounts of water and get dehydrated. If you live in a hot environment, you can expect to lose around one liter of sweat per hour. Now, at first, your throat will get super dry. This is your body signal to quote, unquote, drink some water or I'll kill you. After that, you will start feeling lethargic and cells cannot exactly give enough energy. After that comes the headaches, uh, the dizziness, and the plain vertigo. Now this is your brain getting angry and dry. Oh, did we mention water also makes the stuff that keeps our joints turning smoothly? Well, it does. And right after a day of not drinking water, you will feel your joints getting stiff and achy. Your body will also get overheated. And you'll probably get heat stroke. After all this comes the really horrible part. Your brain swells, trying to retain water. And your blood pressure gets so low that a seizure or shock occurs. The difference between these two is that a seizure is an imbalance in your brain signals, which causes your body to jerk back and forth. A shock is when the skin turns gray and the body becomes unresponsive. Both conditions are highly dangerous and unpredictable. If a shock is left untreated, surely death is the next step. But in this case, even if you recovered, there is still no water. At this point, your heart will be very close to giving up. The muscles in the heart die, and this causes a heart attack. Oh, and this keeps going. You get a heart attack, recover, no water, boom, another heart attack. So most likely, you will die from a heart attack. Another cause could be the building of basically poison in your body. Yep, 
Water is responsible for removing toxins too. No water equals no toxin removal equal your body being poisoned from the inside. How long does this entire painful process take? Two days. A week's top if you're healthy, in a cool environment, and ate vegetables and fruits like a rabbit. Bonus, if you actually drank eight glasses of water the day before the world descended into chaos. Here, it is time for a little awareness. As you have witnessed how exceedingly terrible the shortage of water is, even before the heart attack stage, a lot of areas in the world have little water or polluted water. One place like this is Flint, Michigan, where the water suddenly turned undrinkable due to excessive pollution in the area. There are also other multiple places in the world with such tragedies like Ethiopia, Tunisia, and Bhutan. We urge to raise awareness about these problems on any scale and donate to organizations that help the environment. What do you think is the best way for a normal person to help an area with a water crisis? Comment below and we'll pin the best one. Also, we are holding an amazing contest where you get to choose the topic of one of our videos. To take part, all you have to do is comment on any topic. It could be an issue you want to raise awareness about or a government secret you need to expose. Whatever it is, comment below and we'll pick a winner next Sunday. And if you are the winner, we will upload a video about your choice topic within 15 days. No, you are not tripping. We really gave you the best news ever. So go ahead and like this video. Share it with all your bougie rich friends so they too can help save the environment. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos that are education, fun, and sometimes very crazy.